It's Tim, I'm here at Ride the Glide, and they've been very kind enough to lend me out the 010X. Uh, we're going to do a bit of a range test. We're going to go out and about around Victoria, so you're going to want to fast forward all the way to the end to hear my thoughts on what the ride is actually like. I'm just going to point the Michael here has been very helpful with the camera. Um, 010X, it's got um, a weight, total weight of about 85 pounds. It has a max speed of about 40 miles an hour, which is what? Uh, 64 kilometers an hour. Um, it's got twin hydraulic suspension, twin 1000 watt motors. It is an absolute beast. The ride 10 inch air filled tires, a fabulous, fabulous machine. And um, yeah, come with me, check it out. Let me know what you think. And you're going to see my beautiful city of Victoria right behind me all the way through. Cheers. I'm set for 2.7K. Do you want it in 4K? I think so, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I just want to say a very special thank you to Michael. He helped me immensely on today's filming, uh, not just uh, providing the camera that I'm actually using, which is a terrific little device, but also making sure that I was all set up and uh, allowed me to, uh, to be able to, to get some really cool shots. So I'm starting here right in downtown Victoria, and I'm driving, riding around on the uh, 10X, and uh, my head's going side to side like that just because the camera's right on my head and I'm just making sure that uh, I'm not going to get run over. So I'm actually using one of the bike lanes here in Victoria, which I, I think is it's terrific. I try not to go too fast in them. Uh, typically I'm going around 25 to 30 kilometers an hour at the top speed. Um, but this scooter is actually powerful enough that I could actually ride with the uh, the cars. I, I don't have to be in a, in a bike lane. Now with my size and uh, my height and uh, wind resistance, I do find that uh, this this particular scooter has no issues getting me up, up the hills. Um, I find that it's comfortable uh, with the suspension to be going around 35 to 45 kilometers an hour, um, that seems really comfortable. Probably closer to 35 is probably about my really easy comfort zone because the and the brakes are just terrific. So I'm just scooting down a, a hill here and I'm probably closing in on about 45 or 50 kilometers an hour. One of the things I really, really love about the uh, this particular scooter are the tires. They're 10 inch inflated tires, and that just gives me such easy going riding uh, over the bumps, cornering. It just uh, it makes it you know if you happen to hit a pothole, the suspension on this machine is fantastic, and uh, I just I just feel really really comfortable when I'm riding it around on it. That's just me doing shoulder checks. So this is a beautiful park. It's called Beacon Hill Park. It's an urban park right in the middle of downtown Victoria. It happens to be right in our backyard. So this is a, a park that I come to regularly. It's absolutely beautiful. Well, you let me know if you think it's beautiful. Thank you. Mule deer. We're, uh, the park's full of deer. Um, uh, peacocks, deer, ducks. Canada geese. Uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful park. It's such so, a so well maintained. If you ever have an opportunity to visit Victoria, BC, I highly recommend going for a walk through this park. So the 
advertise range on the Zero 10X is approximately 70 kilometers. Um, so to put that in perspective, that's about 45 miles. It's an awfully long way for a scooter. But because I am quite a bit bigger, um, I was expecting to have uh, the range of be a, a negatively affected. But I was pleasantly surprised. Um, this particular trip, I was approximately, I did approximately 20 kilometers. And I found that it was, um, I think it, I, if memory serves me, it was about 25%. Uh, complete uh, that is the battery still had 75% left when I when I finished the ride And because I'm riding through the park, I'm doing about 20 to 25 kilometers an hour at the most. I, I don't want to, um, you know, frighten anybody or make anybody nervous while going through the park. It's just a super tranquil and easy setting and I don't want to disturb anybody. So here we are, we're going to do a little bit of off-road action. This vehicle, because it's got twin 1000 watt motors, it absolutely ate this little hill in the middle of Beacon Hill Park, or Beacon Hill. Uh, the uh, the flowers on the ground here is called camas, and it's uh, it's uh, it's actually a um, carbohydrate that was uh, uh, grown over about a thousand years. It's been here, so it's uh, it comes up every year, and it's absolutely beautiful. Love it. But this zero ten just murders this hill. This is actually quite a steep hill. It doesn't show it on camera. I know it's really difficult to show the steepness of the hill, but it, um, here we are coming up to the very top of Beacon Hill and then it just goes, you know, chews up the gravel, no problem whatsoever. It didn't even pause. The maximum load for the scooter is 330 pounds, and uh, me being 275, um, I, I mean, you know, if I had a great big backpack on, it would it would be oh, totally fine. It uh, it would be uh, fine for keeping up with cars as it drives around. Just watching out for peacocks, making sure I don't run any of, of them over, and toddlers. So I just made a left-hand turn here. As I said, easy to keep up with traffic in this town. The speed limit here is about 50 kilometers an hour. So really, really, this, this vehicle has no problems keeping up with the speed limits in town. And uh, the marker here is zero, mile marker zero, because this is the, uh, the beginning of the Trans-Canada Highway. So this highway actually will continue right from here in Victoria. Uh, on Vancouver Island from one coast of Canada all the way across thousands and thousands of kilometers all the way across Canada to the other side. I've just made a right hand turn here onto Dallas Road and um, they just finished this road with this beautiful tarmac. It's awesome, really, really smooth, but it gets really rough because they haven't finished it up at the bottom. And off to our left are the Straits of Juan de Fuca 
And I think I turn my head up here and uh, show you a little bit about what it looks like. You should be able to see the mountains. And if you do see mountains in the distance off to my left, they are the Olympic Mountains in Washington State. I think if I was going to add any parts or any have any accessories on a scooter of this size, I think I'd probably actually put on a pair or at least one mirror so that I don't have to keep doing these left, you know, shoulder checks all the time. And I can keep an eye out for vehicles perhaps coming up on my left hand side. That was just me nodding to the pedestrian. Here comes the really, this road along here is really quite rough. But with the front and rear hydraulic springs and uh, those really big 10 inch soft air filled tires, it glides across these bumps. It's really, it's, it's actually quite comfortable. It's going to be hard to get used to my 09 after riding around on the 010. And we're just passing the entrance to the port of Victoria, and that's Ogden Point to our left. This is actually where all the uh, cruise ships will come in to dock. We get about 230 to 250 cruise ships a year coming through Victoria, so it's quite a popular tourist destination. So I was just thinking while I'm right along here, um, range test, it looks to me based on the amount of battery life that was uh, left at the end of my trip, um, that if I was to extrapolate, I would guess or estimate about 40 to 45 kilometers wouldn't be a problem for somebody my size on this scooter. Assuming, of course, you're not going into massive headwinds all the time. And huge mountains or hills. And those are just cherry blossoms on the ground. It's not snow. Pink snow. Just passing Fisherman's Wharf on our left, although I didn't actually look, I don't think. No, I didn't. I do want to say a very special thank you again to um, to Ride the Glide. Uh, they're located right down in Victoria. I'm actually going to finish this particular ride by arriving right in front of their store, right on Wharf Street in downtown Victoria. They do. Uh, they look after. Uh, like, you know, they sell a lot of electric bicycles, scooters, and uh, things of that nature. They even have an electric car as well, which is kind of cool. 
really good people. So if you do happen to have, uh, if you did happen to live in Canada and wanted to buy an electric scooter or an electric bicycle, do check them out. Ride the Glide. And of course, with the 010X, it actually has a couple of buttons on the handlebars that uh, you can press. Uh, one of them says turbo, and uh, it does that for sure. Uh, in fact, uh, I love riding around with that because the acceleration is fantastic. And the other button is eco. So if you press that or you uh, just select, uh, maybe just drop down to second gear on the right controller, you'll actually be able to extend your distance significantly. You just won't be able to go as fast. And we're just coming now into the inner harbor on our left. I just keep dipping my head down just to double check to make sure I'm not going too fast. As I said, I really prefer 35 to 40 kilometers an hour is really quite a perfect speed on these scooters. Yes, I know it can go a lot faster, but there's no need. On my right-hand side here, um, we're going to pull in to the legislature building. So this is, um, these are basically the parliament buildings for the province of British Columbia. And that's the Inner Harbor over to the left. Lots of whale watching boats and vessels used for getting back and forth from Seattle to uh, from Seattle to Victoria, and of course from Victoria to Vancouver. On my right here is the Fairmont Empress, beautiful old hotel, recently renovated. And this is called Government Street, and I'm just going to ride through Government Street and then arrive at Ride the Glide. Now, if speed is your thing, if something, if you want to know how fast this uh, vehicle will actually uh, propel me, uh, all 275, six foot of me through uh, on a uh, speed test, then I have a video for that as well. I'll put a link in the top right corner here. As we approach the penultimate corner on this mini trip, I'm reminded of the fact that you're probably watching this and wondering what's my opinion on this particular scooter. I've ridden a few now. This is definitely the uh, the heaviest scooter and coming at 84 pounds. It's the uh, the fastest and most stable scooter that I've tried out. Um, the range is the longest. Uh, the uh, the battery is the uh, the biggest. Uh, the hydraulic brakes and uh, hydraulic suspension on the new Zero 10Xs are just amazing. And uh, I absolutely give this two thumbs up. It's an amazing electric vehicle. And uh, if I didn't live in an apartment where I had to carry it up the stairs, I would absolutely be saving for one. But uh, for now, it's going to come up to keep my 09. And the Inner Harbor, back to it. And as I just pull up here in front of Ride the Glide, I just want to say thanks very much for watching. If you have any questions about scooters or electric bicycles, don't hesitate. Ask me in the comments down below. 
Uh, if there's a particular video you think I should make, let me know. And thanks very much for watching. Make sure you subscribe and hit that like button if you can. Appreciate it.